Venturo cranes are complex and powerful machines. That's what makes safe crane operation so important. Failure to follow even one safety rule can result in property damage, injury, or even loss of life. Because of the many hazards that exist, the operator must ensure that all actions are carried out with the highest regard for safety, not only for the operator, but for everyone working near the crane. No single training course, instruction manual, or videotape can possibly list all the elements that go into safe crane operation. However, this program will cover some of the key points that you should know about and follow. This video is intended to familiarize you with good safety practices while operating a Venturo crane in a propane tank handling operation. Viewing this safety video does not certify you in the operation of a crane. Always consult the owner's manual regarding safety and operation. The operator must always be fully knowledgeable of the crane's operation before using it. The operator and other personnel working around the crane must read, understand, and follow the safety and operation instructions provided in the owner's manual. Before putting the crane to work at the job site, a daily inspection should be performed. Consult the inspection log in your manual for key inspection items like wire rope, fasteners, and oil level. This log, along with the manual, should always be kept in the cab where it will be readily available for reference by the operator and others. If an owner's manual is not present with the crane, one should be ordered from Venturo specific to the crane serial number. All warning and instructional decals and placards installed on the crane by the manufacturer should be read and followed. Any decal that becomes worn, damaged, or missing should be promptly replaced. The operator must be familiar with all applicable local, state, and federal regulations, national safety standards, and job site rules. The operator setting up cranes and handling loads are expected to know and practice proper crane setup and safe rigging procedures. Slings, chokers, chains, spreaders, and other rigging equipment must be of the proper type, size, and strength and be properly installed. The operator and other personnel must know how to properly and safely set the crane up. The crane operator must be certain that the loads lifted are within the rated crane capacity. Your crane is equipped with a capacity overload system and an anti-two block system. The anti-two block system and overload system should be inspected for proper operation before each work shift. Your Venturo crane is also equipped with a manual override system that can be used if the crane's electrical control system or remote control is lost or damaged. Use this system only to stow the boom until proper repairs can be made. The operator must use his own skill and knowledge to determine the weight of the load and decide whether or not it can be lifted. He must also be able to determine where its center of gravity is and if the load is properly balanced. He must be aware of and avoid conditions such as side loading, dynamic loading, and shock loading. Each can have an adverse effect on the crane's structural and capacity limits as well as severely damage your crane. By now, it should be apparent that there are many things to know and understand about cranes. Safe crane operation can be achieved only if everyone involved with the crane consistently follows safe work practices and applies their knowledge and common sense to lifting operations. Strict adherence to the crane's load chart is one of the most important parts of safe crane operation. The operator must fully and completely understand the chart on the side of the boom prior to making any lifts. He must know the weight of any load and be sure that it falls within the capacity limits of the crane. The operator must be able to use the capacity chart to pre-plan lifts and determine capacities. No load should ever be lifted that is in excess of the capacities on the crane's load chart. The load rating chart represents the limitations of the crane's lifting capacity. To exceed load chart capacities would be a direct violation of safe crane operating practices. 
Even before a crane is brought onto a job site, planning should begin and the area should be thoroughly inspected to determine if safe crane operation is possible. The ground surface at the site must be firm and capable of supporting the total weight of the crane and all loads to be lifted. The surface must also be level enough to allow the crane itself to be leveled. For uneven surfaces and to assist in leveling, proper cribbing must be selected and prepared prior to crane setup. Do not set up on surfaces which may not support the outriggers, such as thin concrete or asphalt and mud or soft terrain. The work site must be accessible, free of obstructions, and have adequate clearance to safely operate the crane. There must be sufficient space to fully extend the outriggers and to rotate the boom into their intended working positions. The truck should be positioned so it is impossible for any portion of the equipment to come within the minimum required safe distance to any energized power line. OSHA requires that you must maintain a clearance of at least 10 feet between any part of the crane, load line, or load and any electrical line or apparatus carrying up to 50,000 volts. One foot additional clearance is required for every additional 30,000 volts or less. Remember, power lines and load lines deflect in winds and additional clearances must be allowed. Death or serious injury will result from contact or arcing due to inadequate clearance to anyone working on or around the crane. Another part of crane safety involves performing periodic inspections and routine maintenance of the crane. The crane must be in proper working condition to ensure safe operation. No lift should ever be performed with a crane that has been poorly maintained, is damaged, or is malfunctioning in any way. Overlooking minor repairs can lead to not only costly rebuilds, but dangerous operating conditions. The crane service manual should be consulted for proper inspection, maintenance, and repair procedures. All crane modification must be factory authorized. Do not remove any of the safety devices installed for your protection. Prior to operation, all hooks, snatch blocks, latches, sheaves, and wire rope should be inspected for damage. All damaged components should be repaired or replaced as necessary. Wire rope should be inspected for wear, broken wires or strands, mechanical damage, and proper lay on the hoist drum. The boom and boom extensions should be inspected for cracks or damage. Hydraulic cylinders and components should be examined for leaks and drifting down. Reservoir oil should be checked and filled to recommended levels. Updated inspection logs should be kept. One good way to perform inspections is to use the checklist supplied with your owner's manual. Use of the maintenance and inspection law can help you ensure the crane is in proper working order. Before moving the truck, the boom should be properly secured in the boom rest and the snatch block attached and secured. Operators and helpers should be thoroughly familiar with ANSI regulated hand signals. The designated signal person should be located where the operator can see them at all times. When the crane is in position, crane setup can begin. After setting the parking brake, place the wheel chocks in front of and behind the rear tire. Engage the transmission PTO pump and activate the crane's master power switch located on the dashboard. All outriggers should be extended fully and then down to a firm surface. Use outriggers as necessary to level the truck. Then elevate the boom and extend the boom to the desired working height. When the operator is satisfied with the setup and condition of the crane, rigging the tank can begin. The operator must make sure he knows the weight of the tank and the location of its center of gravity. Overloading or side loading can cause the truck to overturn or the crane to fail structurally. Under no circumstances can the crane be used to drag or pull a load. This will cause serious damage and or personal injury. 
the operator must be satisfied that the tank is properly rigged, ensuring that the safety latch on the load hook is fully engaged. Safety must be the most important concern of the operator who is in complete command of the operation of the crane. The tank should be moved slowly and smoothly and if required, non-conductive tag lines should be used to control motion of the tank throughout the lift. The operator must stay alert to ensure that no part of the load, wire rope, or boom comes too close to electrical power lines or other obstructions. Safe crane operation depends on the alertness and the skill of the personnel involved. After lifting operations have been completed and the load detached from the hook, the crane must be properly shut down and secured. The boom should be retracted and lowered. The boom should be placed in the boom rest and the load block secured before traveling. Retract the outriggers and return them to their stowed and locked positions. Replace the pull-out safety release pin to avoid accidental deployment during travel. Turn off the crane's master power switch and deactivate the PTO pump. In summary, safe crane operation depends upon planning, the operator's technical knowledge of the crane, proper setup, reading, understanding, and following load charts, observation of and adjusting to job site conditions, effective communication, and applying personal skills and common sense during the lifting operation. While it is not possible nor practical to try to cover every aspect of crane safety and operation in one program, we hope that the guidelines provided in this video give you a solid foundation for developing good safety habits and procedures for ensuring the long life of your Ventura crane. Read and follow all the safety and operation instructions provided in your Ventura owner's manual as well as those by your company. Then put what you've learned into practice. You'll be protecting yourself, others, and your crane from serious harm and expense. <laughs>